in this tutorial, I would like to show you how to take stereographic images uh, or 3D images as they are called sometimes. Uh, for this, you need two separate images for the two eyes. So uh, basically, we want to take two pictures. For this, you can either use a dedicated 3D camera like the FinePix 3D camera or Holga has a 3D camera too. Uh, but you can eliminate that and use either two cameras, two identical cameras with identical lenses or one camera. And first of all, I will show you how to do it with two cameras. This is our first setting. And then I will show you how to eliminate one of the two cameras and use one of your traditional uh, digital cameras to take a stereographic image. So first we would like to level up the cameras, make them make their bottom line up. So first I will raise this camera so that it lines up with the other one, like this. It looks like lined up so it's already okay. We don't have to be very precise on this. Just like this and then I will put this camera a bit further away okay uh, optimal distance between the cameras is really up to the photo usually something like this is okay if you put the cameras very close then it will be a very natural uh, uh, 3d effect if you put them further apart it will make it look more 3d or it, you will have more sense of depth and if you put them too far apart, then it will fall apart and it won't work. So you have to experiment with that. But something like this is usually okay. Now, after that, you will have to set the zoom lenses to the same value. Uh, probably the best way to go is to use either the one, one end of the zoom uh, range or the other end. Uh, and not something between because you can't do that very precisely so usually I would advise you to use one end of the zoom range and set the same zoom uh, on the other lens too and after that we will switch on the cameras well they are already switched on so you don't have to do that uh, and we will use manual mode manual mode with the uh, one camera and menu with, with the other camera. Okay, that's fine, probably. And first we will have uh, autofocus on both cameras. Now I will uh, aim the camera at some point uh, on my picture and the best is if you aim it to the point where your focus will be. So in this case, we will have uh, this hallway and I will use the bridge at the end for focusing on it and it will be uh, the point I'm, I'm aiming at. So, I just set it. Uh, I set the other camera as well. Okay. And now I will set the focus by pressing the button halfway. One of them is focused. Okay, the other one is focused as well. And now I will switch off uh, autofocus on both both cameras so that they don't refocus when I take a picture. And finally, I will set the exposure values. Uh, so we are in manual mode, so I have to set uh, F number and shutter speed separately. I will do that right now. So I will use F5 for most cameras and, and one hundredth of a second as an exposure time. Okay. Now it's very important that you uh, do this in manual mode and not in some other uh, semi-automatic or automatic mode because the uh, two cameras di uh, measure different lights uh, because they see different things. So probably they wouldn't uh, do the same ex exposure otherwise. But now it's okay. And finally, all we have to do is expose the two, camera, two, two cameras at once, uh, either by pressing the two buttons at once, like this. But 
this doesn't always work perfectly because you know your hand is not so precise and for that you can use uh, remote control and uh, by that you can make it really precise so what I will do is to set each cameras to remote control mode And I will just press the button on the remote control. And there we go with the pictures. Okay, so that's it. That's uh, the first version. We have taken our picture. Uh, one of the pictures in one camera, the other picture in the other camera. You go home, download it, and use it in any way you would like to. Next, I will show you how to use one camera for the same thing. Okay, for this I have taken off the camera from the tripod and now I will just use manual settings as I did before. Uh, also I can autofocus first and then switch off autofocus so as to make sure that uh, between shots I do not re uh, refocus. Now I will simply take the camera, take one picture and then I will step aside and do another picture like this. I aim the camera at the point, the picture, step aside, aim to the same point, and take another picture. And basically that's, that's all. Everything is just the same as you would do it with two cameras. Just you don't take the pictures at once, but one after the other. But remember that if you are doing it like this, then nothing on the picture can move. So only use this if you are taking pictures of buildings uh, that don't move and no people on the shot and things like that so it's not as perfect as doing with, with two cameras but it works.